Jack Winier with Penn State Baron men's and women's water polo coach Joe Tristan. As today we look at the men's 2015 season. Coach, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. Very good. It's good to talk to you again. Uh, looking ahead to this season, we'll start in net. Uh, Ty Elder, I mean, the all everything goalkeeper is back once again for you. So you have to be pretty confident right there. Oh yeah, we've we've done a great job with Ty over the last few years, and he's excited about his senior year. Um, we've got a new freshman goalie this year, so kind of he's going to take him under his wing to show him some new things so that way uh, he can take over next year. But Ty's going to be a, a, a big offensive threat, a defensive threat for us. Where do you think he ranks all time as far as parent water polo players? Uh, he is definitely the number one goalie uh, we've, uh, uh, in, in, his, in our history. Um, he's closing in on a thousand saves, um, which is pretty remarkable. Um, he's only, I think, around 230 uh, saves away. Um, and that's our goal, to try and hit that thousand mark. And then also you have Victor Wynn and Hassan Khan coming back. So you have a nice core group of seniors. Yes, uh, Victor and Hassan both can, you know, they're very well-rounded players. Hassan being a two-meter defender. Victor can pretty much just about play any position. Um, and they're great leaders. Also now, a lot of freshmen on this team. And I'm interested because a lot of the other teams, you know, Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York, you have freshmen coming in from New, uh, from California, Texas, and Florida. So is it harder for you to get these kids integrated, these students integrated to Erie and to Barron than maybe some of the other sports? Uh, yeah, uh, that's probably the biggest thing because, you know, they haven't experienced a true Erie uh, uh, winter yet. So, or fall, um, apparently. Or a fall, yes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we, you know, they're, they're excited to play. And that's their, they're coming in to get a great education. And uh, they, they're getting ready to stay, to play uh, at the Naval Academy and we're excited about that um, and they're a good group of kids and uh, you know talent wise and experience wise we're pretty very excited about uh, having this freshman class. And some of these freshmen are going to play right away correct? Yeah they're, we're going to have definitely um, a, we have seven new freshmen and it's it's kind of hard to figure out who's going to actually get playing time right away because they're all pretty good. And you mentioned you open up at the Naval Academy Invitational on September 4th. Uh, what kind of challenges and what kind of teams you'll be playing? Uh, well, we're going to open up with uh, Connecticut College, uh, a D3 rival of ours. We've always had good games over the years um, and whatnot. And uh, the last couple of years, they've been able to uh, one-up us each time. So we're hoping we can we can play a great game against them. So that's going to be a good opening game for us. Whereas normally we usually play against number you know number 15 Navy or yeah. you know or somebody like that. So being able to open up with another Division three school is good for us. Uh, we've got a couple exhibition games so we can do a lot of different things with that. Um, and then uh, we'll finish up the tournament I believe against the Naval Academy. So uh, you know so it'll hopefully uh, give us some confidence, build some, uh, give us an idea of what we need to work on and you know so as we move forward into the Bucknell tournament. Well good luck in that event and good luck this season. Thank you.